Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Madden and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to bake ambient occlusion maps in Blender, so let's start. So I made this little stick of dynamite right here and we want to bake an ambient occlusion map onto this. So I've done this before and this is why you can see shadows right here. But if I disconnect all the textures and let's just get a diffuse BSDF right here plug it into the surface you will see there are no shadows and this just looks very flat and we don't want this so we want to bake this ambient occlusion map and first we have to go to UV editing and actually create a new map for the bake so this will be called AO underscore bake or you can call it whatever you like I'm just doing this for demonstrating purposes and let's set it to 2048 by 2048 pixels. And you can enable or disable the alpha channel. In this case, I just keep it enabled, but it doesn't really matter on the AO map. And then just click OK. So now you see we got this black map and we can go to shading and then just get an image texture. And you don't need this setup. This is the old setup I just had for the texture. And we are going to use this diffuse BSDF and the image texture. Now let's get your AO bake for the ambient occlusion. And you have to keep this enabled. And also you have to click on your object. And then you want to have the right UV map for your model. And you can go to Cycles Render Engine. I use GPO Compute because this is fast for me. And you can scroll down until you see the bake option. So open this and then go to the bake type Ambient Occlusion. And you can set a margin of whatever you like. I think the bigger the number, the better because margins don't overlap. And yeah, but it doesn't really matter. I just set it to 32 pixels. I think this is nice. And then if you have your map enabled, you can click on bake. As you can see, the bake is finished and we can see our map right here. Let's go to UV editing and we can review this. And we have all the shadows we wanted. So let's go back to shading. And if you're plugging this map into the color, you can actually see what it does. Yeah, it's way, way nicer than before. If I disconnect it again, you can see this looks very flat and with the ambient occlusion, this looks way better. And I show you really quick how to set it up too. So you just want to connect your BSDF and then you have the albedo I merged these two maps before so the shadows will be very strong now but I show you how to do this. So you got your albedo map and then the ambient occlusion and you need a mix RGB node to mix these two together and set the blending mode to multiply. And now you can just increase or decrease the ambient occlusion as you like and you can see on the rope this makes a big difference and it just looks way better and yeah that's it guys i hope you liked this video if yes leave a thumbs up if no leave a thumbs down i'll see you next time and bye